Missouri would get the 79 to 63 win a 16 point victory. Trent Frazier was one point away from matching his season high of 29 points. He scored 28. Georgie Bashan has really scored double digits as well, getting 10 points on the board and seven rebounds. Jeremiah Tillman signed with Illinois, but now playing with Missouri. He earned a double double for the Tigers, 16 points and 12 rebounds. Jordan Geis led the offense for Missouri. He scored 20. And we'll now go to Brett Behrens and Craig Choate, who are live in St. Louis. Guys, this game has been what everyone's been talking about. The Illini didn't get the result they wanted, but did it live up to the hype? Oh, it certainly lived up to the hype, Marley. This place was rocking tonight. Brett Barron's alongside Craig Schott here, live at Enterprise Center. Not a sold-out crowd tonight. There were still some seats up in the rafters that no one was sitting in, but a great atmosphere, yeah. Craig, especially compared to last year. This uh, was a great game all around. Yeah, it usually is. Uh, sure. No matter how good these two teams are, it's usually a pretty good game. Um, it was for about 32 minutes for the Illini tonight, and then at the end of the game, I think we figured it up. Uh, Missouri went on a 24-4 run to kind of seal the game and win this one big. Trent Frazier is really good, <laughs> but he needs some help. He does. Uh, he scored 28 points. Georgie and Aaron Jordan did get to double figures, but the team just kind of disappeared there for that last last half of the second half. Yeah, and nobody else there. If Trent doesn't show up tonight, oh my, oh my, this could be a completely <laughs> yeah. different outcome. And I'm not sure the score, the final, is really indicative yeah. of how close this game was. And I think Alana Nation probably felt that as home as well. And the crowd here was into it the whole game. And I, I really yeah. give them credit for that as, as both teams' uh, crowds really showed up. But if Trent doesn't come out tonight and shoot six for 13 from three, I'm not sure this is even uh, within yeah. 20, Craig. Yeah, they took that 56-55 lead. I think that half was Illinois fans and they were all on their feet the Missouri fans were quiet and then Tillman comes and he gets the and one right after that and the, the, the flip the switch just flipped from then on out and Missouri kind of took over and did whatever they wanted for the last part of the game and give Illinois credit because they were down at half and yep. then came back and grabbed that 56 55 lead you felt the momentum was all the way there for the orange and blue and then Missouri took it back that Tillman yep. and one on the other end yep. and Illinois didn't lead again after that right. and it was pretty much over with four minutes to go at least yeah, that's the sure. feeling we had here in the for arena sure. for sure yeah it's the same thing I just said that, that Tillman and one might have been the biggest play in the game it gave Missouri the momentum and then Javon Pickett wow oh my people from Illinois didn't really <laughs> care that he left but they might care now he's he pretty pretty good pretty good game today maybe they should care that Javon Pickett scores 16 points Jeremiah Tillman 16 as well Mark Smith struggled for the most yeah, part of the game very well. did not play well at all but head coach Brad Underwood afterwards just kind of envisioning that hey this was gonna be a big moment yep. for his team to see where they were at, and Illinois uh, really did not live up to the expectation. We didn't shoot the ball particularly well. Uh, we've got to have a much better balance of getting guys in, involved offensively. Uh, I thought Georgie was, was very, very effective offensively, and yet we didn't go to him near enough. And we've got to do a better job of recognizing that. I mean, emotions were high, but, uh, you know, just uh, being being played this game for a while, you know, you just kind of have to ride with it. Uh, don't let that... Get in your head. Uh, tell the other guys, the young guys that we have, you know, stay poised. Kept saying attitude. Uh, no matter what happens, like if they go on a run, we go on a run. You know, stay the course. I knew that, you know, it was going to be that kind of game. Uh, them having three of our, you know, players. But um, I, being my second year, I, I don't, you know, I've I stayed focused and stick, stay, stick to the game plan. You know, I don't get into that stuff, and I just play basketball. So I mean, but it was the motion was really high tonight. Uh, we were getting after it. Um, they just fought way harder.